Book and talk. Today's daf is Ayin Vav. On daf Ayin Hey, we learned about the Gemara Suffolk in Rabbi Eliezer. When Rabbi Eliezer allows for Hafar before the Nedu is actually taken, it does it mean that the Nedu will be Chal and immediately it will be Mufar? Or does it mean that the Nedu is not Chal at all? And now we're trying to prove it from the Seifa of the Brysa. Ema Seifa, Omu Lola Rabbi Eliezer. The Seifa, the Brysa, records a conversation between the Chachamim who object to Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Eliezer. And it seems that Rabbi Eliezer is based on the fact that it's easier to be mavatal something that wasn't yet chal than to be mavatal something that's already chal. And therefore, the Chacham Seim Cain, if your logic is correct, then we should apply the following, the following uh, Kalvachomen. And that is Matbilin Kli Tome Litoyer. We can take a Kli that contracted Tumor. Let's say Sheretz fell into a Kli, and now he takes the Kli and puts it into a Mikvah. So it already had contracted Tumor, and yet the Mikvah has the power to remove the tumor that's already chal, and therefore at Kolsh game, yad bilu kli, he could be me tovel, <coughs> a kli that's tar, such that lichshi tamei li tar, that when it contracts tumor, it should be tar. So the process of tara that he initiated before it became tamei should be chal immediately when it becomes tamei. And we know that that's not true. Obviously, the halacha is that a mikvah can only be mitayr, that which is tamay. Shmami no. Says the Gemara, now we can be poshet our original safet in the sheet of Rabbi Eliezer. We were vacillating about Rabbi Eliezer. We see here that chaylin, that the neder is going to be chal even before even after he was mocked him with Afar, oh, the Neda will be Chal, and then immediately it will become Botel, because that is the comparison here in the Seif of the Brisa between Afar and Tvila, that the Tvila should be Chal to remove the Tumor once the Kli of the future down the line will contract Tumor. And that's how the Rabbonon contested Rabbi Eliezer by saying that according to you, Rabbi Eliezer, just like a kli that's that's tame, once it's put in the mikvah, the mikvah has the power to be retired, so to a kli that's tar and was put into the mikvah, and afterwards it contracts tuma, it be, immediately becomes tar, which is not the case, of course, and therefore that kalvachomer has to be thrown overboard. And we see clearly here that the way that the chachamim are objecting to Rabbi Eliezer. They understood that according to Rabbi Eliezer, the halacha is that um, the halacha is that uh, with the hafara that took place before the ha, before the nether was taken, the nether would be chal and then it would be mufar. And this is against the deal that we had yesterday on daf ayin hayim days from the ratio of of that same brisa in which the chacham objected to. Rabbi Eliezer by pointing out that his Kalvachomer cannot be operative based on the case of, of the mikvah. And there we proved and established in the ratio that Chacham understood that Rabbi Eliezer was saying that the Nedu will not be Chal at all. And that was the logic of the Chacham, just to review very quickly on the bottom of Ayin Hayamid Beis, Umam Mikvah. Shemayla es hatmei mitumasam, ein matzil ala tohorim. Right, so we were talking about the case of hatzola ala tohorim, and that was a case where the sheretz came in contact with the person while he was still submerged in the water of the mikvah. And you see over there, as we proved yesterday at great length, that according to Rabbi Eliezer, the Chafcham understood the neder will never be chal, and the hafara prevents the neder from being chal, just like the tvila will be uh, able to prevent the contact with the sherets in the water from generating tumor. So the Gemara says that we have now what's called diyukim sosrim, contradictory diyukim. 
from the ratio, we see that the Chacham understood that according to Abel Ezra, and how far that took place before the nether was taken, that the nether will not be hal at all. And from the Sefer, we would die that the Chacham understood in Rabbi Eliezer that the nether will be hal and then it will be libatel. How do we reconcile these diukim sosrim from the ratio to the Sefer Amri? So the Gemara answers, Rabbanon lo kaime, lo kaime lo in the time of the Rabbi Eliezer. The Chacham really eat themselves were vacillating back and forth. They had no clarity about Rabbi Eliezer, whether Rabbi Eliezer's Aforosh Kodmo and Neder is made for the Neder after it's Chal or prevents the Neder from being Chal. And therefore, they pre presented to the to Rabbi Eliezer a Mimon of Shem. My Sviruloch. I don't know what you hold. Here are the two options. E Sviruloch, the Chaylin of Betelin, if you're going to say that when the how far it took place before the nether. Then the nether will be chal and immediately bought till it's heavy, clean to your talk. Then we have the sefer of this b'risa, which the Chacham object from the case of kli. And what they're saying is that just like the mikvah could be metire the tumor once it's chal, so therefore it could, um, it could be metire beforehand in such a way that after the tumor is contracted, it could be metayat. So that means that they understood, according to Rabbi Eliezer, that the nether would be chal and then immediately bought them. But ilo svirloch the chal. If the interpretation of Rabbi Eliezer is that the hafara before the nether prevents the nether from emerging and being chal, then tevi mikvah tiyuftah, now I can, I can undermine and disprove your kal from mikvah, that why isn't mikvah matzil? It should prevent a person who's inside of mikvah from contracting tumor when he comes in contact with the sheriffs, and the tumor shouldn't be chal at all. So Rabbanon are covering all their bases. No matter which interpretation of Rabbi Eliezer you take, I have a disproof to Rabbi Eliezer from a kalvachoma that cannot hold water, whether it is from the case of a kli, or whether it's from the mikvah itself. So now the Gemara wants to stretch its arm out to a different source in which Adarabha, now it's Rabbi Eliezer who's on the offensive, and to prove from Rabbi Eliezer's offensive what he holds about the hafara that came before the neder. And we're going to try to prove that if the Afar came before the nether, the nether is not chal at all. The Torah tells us in Vayikri Yud Aleph, which I believe is Parsha Shmini, in the Parsha of Tuma Sheretz, called Zera Zerua, Asher Yizore, Asher Yizorea, Tahar Hu. And the Chachamim Darshan from here, that if you take something that's Tome and you plant it in the Karka, it becomes tar. The fact that it is mushrash in the karka, that makes it tar. And dafka, after ashrasha, if you put it inside the ground and it hasn't yet taken root and then you pull it out, it's not tar. And this is derived from the Pasuk tar hu. And Chazal interpreted in the uh, in the Sifra, that it means Hishrish, Dafka Hishrish, Lav Hu. If it's Hishrish, then it becomes Tar. But if it wasn't Hishrish, then Baba Yoso Yehid. Toshma, Omelahem Rabbi Yehid. Rabbi Yehid turns to Chacham and he says the following Umaz Royim Tmeim, Kemen Shezoran, the Karkatolim, you take that which had already contracted tumor, and you plant it in the ground, it now becomes tar, is ruined the omdim lokolshke. Wouldn't you certainly agree that how much more so is ruined the omdim and not the kabul tumor as long as they are mechubal karka? And you have to agree to this. And even though it's not explicit in the Torah, 
this halacha that once you've already planted something in the ground and the zera is mushrash, it's not makabal tumor, you have to admit that that's derived from makabal chomer, which means that it's easier to remove tumor before it was chal than to remove tumor once it's already chal. So if I can remove tumor once it's already chal by putting it in the ground, then the fact that these rungs are already in the ground before they contracted tumor would certainly prevent them from contracting tumor. So you yourselves have to accept this kalvachom. And if we apply the same logic to Afara, that if Afara works after the Nedah is chal, how much more so that it's effective to prevent the Nedah from being chal, we see from the logic here of Rabbi Eliezer, as recorded in the Brisa, that Rabbi Eliezer holds that when the Afara comes before the Nedah, it prevents the Nedah from being chal. Just like if you plant the Zeroyim when they're still tar, and then later on, as their mechubah lekarka, they come in contact with tumor, they don't become tummy at all. And it, it seems like this is the final maskana of the Gemara in the original suffix we vacillated about Rabbi Eliezer. We see that Rabbi Eliezer's logic is that the tum, that the nedu will not be chal at all. But now the Gemara goes back to the Machlokas, the fundamental issue between Chacham and Rebilez. And it seems, from everything that we've learned until now, in the context of this Machlokas, that the Chachamim will not accept the Kavachomer of this type, that if something is not Chal, it's easier to be Mavatal it than something that's already Chal. The Rabbonin seem to reject that logic, that Kavachomer. So the Gemara right away asks, for Rabbonin, Lo Darshi Kavachomer, this kind of kavachomer that's easier to prevent something from being from being chal than to be mavatal something that's already chal is what underlies the following kavachomer, which was accepted by the chachamim, which seems that they accept the logic of Rabbi Eliezer. How could that be? But Tanya, now we're talking about it, whether a father could sell his daughter who's a katana as an omavria. And Allah is that if she's a katana, he sells her as an omavriya. What's the status of a nara? Once she becomes a nara at the age of 12, and she has Simone naros, can he sell her? And the Chachamim, although the Torah doesn't say anything about it explicitly, derived the Allah that a father cannot sell his daughter as a nara, when she's a nara as an omavriya from a kavachomer. Yochalam, I think, she yimkar other is bitok she nara. If he had sold her as a katana, the law is that she goes out this simoni naros. So those simonim of naros on the shachar are mafkia, her status as an, as an omavriya. And the one who bought the omavriya understands very well that, he, that his purchase is only valid as long as she hasn't seen simoni naros. Once she becomes a naro, she goes free, and the state of Oma, of Amus, terminates. Is therefore, if that's the case, that even though he had already sold her, he can be the simonim of Naris, of a battle the Kenyan, that's Orichal, and Odin Shalotimoche, how much more so is it impossible for him to sell her when she's in Nara? And the Chacham accepted this. This is not a machlokas between the Chacham and Rabbi Eliezer. Even the Chacham can see that this Chacham is valid. It's the basis for the halacha that a, a father cannot sell his daughter who's a Nara as an Omevriya. So we see that even the, even the Chacham accepted the basic logic of the Chacham that you have the case of something that's already Chal as opposed to something that wasn't Chal. And it's a lot harder, more challenging to uproot and nullify something that's already been taken, already valid than it is to prevent something that hasn't yet been chal. So therefore, if he can, uh, if the naros has the power to undermine an amus that's already chal, how much more so that it prevents an amus from being chal when the father wants to sell his daughter as a nara, it cannot be chal. So why don't the Chachamim therefore agree 
to the Kabbalah Chomer of Afara. Again, the logic of Rabbi Eliezer is very powerful now. And the Chacham seemed to accept it, that if Hafara could operate after the Nether is Chal, then how much more so should Hafara be able to prevent the Nether from being Chal? And that Kabbalah Chomer is extremely powerful if you accept the final Maskana that we had before, that according to Rabbi Eliezer, when he's mocked in the Hafara to the Nether, the Nether is not Chal at all. And that's derived from a couple of from the fact that the, the father could be made for his daughter's Nadar with him. The Oris, such as the Baal, could be made for his Nadar after the Nether was Chal. 